What's up guys, I just wanted to show you guys um, a preview, I suppose, for Civ Modeler Beta 3. I believe that's what I'm at. So here it is. I'm sorry for the really uh, low resolution, but I did want to get it at maybe, hopefully, the fastest FPS I could so that I can show off the amazing speed that this update will include. The main thing that, well, yeah, that's pretty much the main thing that this update includes is speed major amounts of it. I've pretty much redone the entire engine completely. So yeah, speed is the main factor here. So I don't know if you noticed before, if you tried out the previous version of Civ Modeler, that the models that you loaded in would either completely freeze the game and would not load, or it would load in but then run really slowly. And this was basic models. So now this is quite different. Um, that was an OBJ file, loaded in instantaneously, and uh, the any, any lag you see is actually uh, just the recorder. This is completely smooth FPS at any screen size. That is also another update. I can change the size. I can even, you know, uh, full screen it, and it still works. And, like, it, it changes the actual resolution, so you don't have to worry about it just stretching. So that looks cool. It works like a normal program then. And so... Yeah, I can select as before, but it's now a totally different method for selecting. It's math-based, not color-based, so it doesn't have to draw everything twice. I'm a big fan of that, which also allowed me to actually um, make this drag select that I have here. So, see, I can actually select a massive amount of triangles there. As usual, sh shift-clicking also works, which is very nice. Now, another thing I did is, because I changed the uh, system for the models so much, is the updating part of the model. Before, I would refresh the model once a step. This was a horrible idea. So now, instead of doing that, it only refreshes it when it needs to, and when it does, it only refreshes parts of it. So, like when the thing gets loaded in, it actually splits it into a whole bunch of different parts, which it draws as if it was one part. That way, when I update it, I only need to update a few parts so that you don't notice any lag whatsoever when update when you're like moving pieces around. So I haven't finished a lot of stuff here yet, so I can't actually move them yet. I can't actually move triangles, which is unfortunate. I'm still working on that. Uh, I'm also working on this uh, drag this box here. So the stretching, the moving. Um, I'm working on changing that engine around and making that far better. So that'll be awesome. Also, you know, um, I'm actually right-clicking right now to move the camera around, which I believe is far better, because it allows me to do a lot more with my left-clicking as far as actual control of the model goes. So that hopefully removed some confusion there. So let me show you exactly how powerful the model is, or the model, uh, the new engine is, which is DLL-based. Um, this is my stress test object. It is an OBJ file. And it is it is massive, so it does take a good amount of time to load in, but that's to be expected. Now, yeah, it's going to take some time, but not nearly as much as it used to. There we go, just finished. So I get full FPS, full screen when I when I load in this massive uh, model. You can see that there are quite a few triangles. I don't actually count them, but it's it's a lot. So I've I'm hopefully I think I've finally um reached my goal of making the program just as fast as it would actually run in your game as far as the model speed goes. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Also, I'm before I'm releasing this update, I want to make sure absolutely everything is working with no bugs. So that includes all the buttons up here. So currently we have file new open save import and export i don't have all the export ones working yet but the imports and all the other ones were are working there edit i don't have undo or redo working yet obviously i'm still just trying to get the triangles to move because i'm redoing the engine um view i have anti-aliasing it's default set to zero which is much faster but if you have a fast enough computer you can crank it up 
I also uh, disable the option if your graphics card is not fast enough to uh, take it. That's pretty cool. Also, you can show the wireframe. So all those buttons work. So I can turn off the wireframe and turn it back on. Yay. And a uh, new, I don't have rectangle, elapsoid, or cylinder working yet, but that'll be easy to add. So that just takes some time. And then selecting. I don't have different selection modes working yet. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm completely redoing the engine, so it's way faster, but I do need to completely redo everything. Uh, texture isn't quite working yet, but when it is, it's going to be a lot faster. I already have amazing plans for how the texture is going to work, so it's going to actually be e easy to use. <laughs> anyway, and then extrude, I don't have that working yet either. But the main thing is that now it's working way faster. So, yeah. I'll get everything working and I'll update it again. And I hope you guys will really like it because it'll be actually useful. But yeah, th this whole update thing started when I actually tried to use my program in a game that I was that I was making with uh, my cousin, and I found that it was just not useful for loading in just basic gun models that didn't have that much triangles. It would just completely freeze, and it would not work. So I was none too happy with that, and so that's what started this whole trying to speed it up. So anyway, I hope you guys like it, and... Yeah, I will try to finish it as soon as possible. Anyway, goodbye.